Wait, wait, can you repeat that again, man? You up and coming artist. What did you say you want to do? I said invest in some assets as opposed to trick off my money on some liabilities like diamonds. You know what I'm saying? Cars that lose value so you drive them off the lot. Tupac of my generation. Young black nigga trapped and he can't change it. Know he a genius, he just can't claim it. Cause they left him no platforms to explain it. He frustrated so he get faded. But deep down inside, he know you can't fade him. The name of the brand obviously is the marathon and it just stands for endurance it stands for staying down it stands for like not quitting accepting the ups and downs of whatever game you commit yourself to and riding it out you feel me because you know that's the reality of uh, you know success or greatness that it come with a roller coaster ride you know so i think that anybody could apply the marathon concept to what they do if it's sports if it's fashion if it's music um, if it's hustling, whatever, you just on a you on a marathon, you know. So I look at it like, you know, we honor the people that ain't quit. We honor the people that stay down. Also, I wanted to, I wanted my message to impact. Gang culture. I didn't want to preach to the choir, but I wanted to be able to say, you know, uh, I'm one of you, and where I'm gonna go, wherever I end up, you're gonna you're gonna know that you can end up there too. I came from this, and it's it's authentic, and I'm not on the outside of this culture. That's why I came in like I came in. I wasn't trying to like be on no super tough guy shit. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted to be clear that you know wherever I take it, I'm not I'm not different. I'm I'm exactly the same. I've been through everything you've been through, or you're gonna go through as a somebody in that culture. My mentality when I when I do start to be like, damn, this is a lot, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, you know, it's that's what it's supposed to feel like. If if you are going toward what the vision look like, and that's like greatness. That's, you know, on multiple levels. Mm -hmm. That's the vision that I'm working toward. So I'm like, I just think about that. Like this shit ain't supposed to feel, you know, comfortable. It's supposed to be uncomfortable. It's supposed to stretch you. It's supposed to be a burden to a degree. And you gotta, you know, wrap your mind around that and accept it and embrace it and you catch the wisdom off of that oh man i don't know that's that's a hard one i would probably say just be more fearless you know what mm. i mean i got i got all my radical moon shots have defined me i don't be my downfall my downfall be you know not not going crazy right. not mm -hmm. not you know having a higher expectation mm -hmm. anytime i didn't set my sight on something that seemed way outlandish it always come back exactly how i seen it mm -hmm. so i think i would tell myself just put way bigger goals up you know on the wall and just have a bigger vision have a higher expectation
I don't feel comfortable unless I know I went above and beyond with my preparation. The things that possibly could happen, if I ain't take real steps to prevent those things, I'm not comfortable. I can't walk around, you know, charismatic and happy. Nah, I gotta make sure, you know, we setting up some type of wealth because we might have, we might have a little bag right now. But we know a lot of people had a bag right now and they ended up bad. Words is powerful, you know? And I think that um, the ability to articulate you know, you can, you, can, you can really impact people. I think as human beings, everybody has a natural gift and a natural passion, but then you go outside and you get influenced and you, and you feel pressure from, from what's going on outside. And so, you know, I read one time, like, would you rather be at war with yourself and at peace with the world or at peace with yourself and at war with the world? If, they, if a motherfucker see it as, a, as, as an asset or as a resource, we don't got no, no, no means to go get it, you know what I mean? Other than our little pistols and handguns, we got them, choppers and all that. These niggas got millions of dollars, institutions set up, like the LAPD, like the feds, like the FBI. All this is they army. And they army make it to where you can inflict your will. Can't put your expectation of me on me. I'm me. You feel me? And that's you're not gonna ever make me feel bad for it. You're not gonna, you know, make me react to how you reacting to me. I don't care. I'm me. And if I if I part of who I am, you know, is disrespectful or is you know crossing the line of like basic things, I'ma check myself. But mm -hmm. you know, we all are, are individuals. So for you to think my my balance or my ratio, I'm to this or to that, and I ain't got enough of this and enough of that. That's all I love. Just keep it to yourself, bro. I think, you know, thoughts is powerful in yeah. all facets. Cause even my career, even my life, you know, things end up turning out exactly how I visualized them. Not right. not in this time frame I expected. You know what I'm saying? You always want shit to happen overnight. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I just had clear visions. And uh your thoughts powerful. That shit pretty you know come to life if you stick to your script. That's why I call my thing the marathon, because yeah. I, I'm not gonna lie and, and, and portray this ultimate poise, like I've been, had it figured out. Nah, I just didn't quit. That's the only distinguishing quality from me and probably whoever else going through this or went through this or is gonna go through this is that I ain't quit. I went through every emotion. I went through every emotion with trying to pursue what I'm doing. You know what I mean? And I think that what what gonna separate whoever's gonna try to go for something is that you ain't gonna quit. Unless you know you're gonna really take the stance of I'm gonna die behind what I'm what I'm getting at right now.